This easy method of permaculture will reduce user resources while improving quality of life. The garden, the trees, and the curb appeal of your home will all reap the benefits as well. Bark is a low-priced landscaping element that improves appearance, prevents weeds, and protects plants. Annual replacement is necessary due to deterioration caused by inefficient practices. However, there is still a chance. You are watching Garden Life, the channel for all of your gardening needs. Wood chips can be made from the tree trimmings and other tree debris that accumulates on a property. Keep in mind that this is a potentially risky and time-consuming task. What are wood chips and how can you use them to improve my outdoor space? You presumably know that wood chips are and what they can be used for unless you've been hiding under a rock. But in case you need a refresher, here's a quick summary. Wood chips are little bits of wood typically culled from tree trunks, branches, and other tree parts. Fertilizers can be used for production, fuel, and mulch. Reduce waste by making wood chips or getting them for free. Since they deteriorate so slowly, you won't have to replace them very often in your garden and you'll reduce your carbon footprint as a result. Wood chips, unlike bark or sawdust, typically consist of material of varying sizes, making them resistant to compaction. The increased plant health and tolerance to environmental stresses that result from this diversity is a bonus. Tools and Gear Wood chippers reduce large branches to small pieces in minutes. Wood chippers are more affordable in the long run. The size and capabilities of the equipment will determine its pricing. Cut off a small piece of fallen branch to compare tools. Buying a small engine for the cheap price can be found in classifieds, flea markets, thrift stores, and yard sales. Maintenance and repair can save hundreds of dollars if you are not in the market for a new machine. Learn the machine's operation and the risks involved, such as moving or flying parts, debris, and noise. Pay heed to the safety instructions posted on all machinery. Use safety equipment such as goggles, earplugs, and impact-resistant gloves. Wearing work boots, sturdy pants, and long sleeves is a must, as the chips are often propelled out the machine at high speed. Don't wear your shorts and sandals just yet. Which trees are best for chipping and which are not? Branches and dead trees on your property may usually be chipped up and used for mulch. Wood chips made from the majority of native trees are fine, but there are a few exceptions. Toxins from ornamental trees can be absorbed by plants through chips, potentially causing harm. Black walnut is toxic and should not be used in composting or wood chipping, according to the EPA.
Here are some extra dangerous species. Eucalyptus, oleander, sassafras, yew, poison oak, and black walnut. Know the wood used in wood chips to ensure safety. Stay away from any processed or pressure treated wood, as well as any sawdust or wood chips made from the materials specified above. Pressure-treated woods are toxic and be hazardous to health and the environment. Doing the math on your own. Prune trees before spring buds to prevent winter damage. Gather limbs and prune in the same direction for easier processing. Pruning branches to manageable lengths is a good idea to create two separate branches. As you work, the chips will accumulate in a pile. A drop sheet will facilitate the subsequent cleanup and collection. Making an early bet. Transport wood chips with wheelbarrows, buckets, or work trailer. If you've previously laid chips on the ground, you can uncover the dirt by pulling back the chips. Underneath, you can probably make out a variety of weeds and grasses. Inspect area for ribs and tears before distributing wood chips. Spread chips early in the growing season to reduce chemical weed suppression. Share this video and subscribe to our channel. This easy method of permaculture will reduce use of resources.